Hello. Thank you for tuning in. I uh, wanted to do a quick video since winter is essentially here uh, on what I do for winter clothes. I learned my lesson living in living here in Ohio. Our winters get pretty brutal. We had minus 45, minus 50 degree wind chills, minus 20 standing temperatures uh, for since I can remember. So um, over the years, you go through garments and, and clothing and you you try to figure out what's warm, what's not, what works. You, you know, a lot of going back and forth over the past many, many years. Uh, but uh, I finally uh, woke up and I thought I'd share. And there's one material that I go to these days and I will never go back. And that is wool. Wool. You're probably already aware wool is wool, wool is expensive, wool is itchy, what what have you. Um, all sorts of things. You gotta dry clean it. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. I'm not talking about anything about that stuff right now, but I just wanted to share with you what I go to. Nothing less than 85% wool. This is 85% wool, 15% nylon. This is pretty thick. You can see that. But, uh, you know, I'll wear this like this. I can happily work outside, even down into the 20s, um, with just this setup right here. And, of course, I do have a wool hat that I use. 100% wool Filson. Uh, this is a Filson Mackinac hat. So I have a couple of these. Uh, they make a couple of different patterns, you know, if you like the forest green, which I like, or the, uh, the black and red, uh, plaid, you know, whatever, but, uh, hundred percent wool shell, the warmest hats I've ever had and the ears flap down so you can keep your ears warm outside. It's fantastic. Anyways, so, uh. <laughs> This is made by Bemidji Woolen Mills. This is not a paid endorsement by any means, but uh, this is one piece that I wear. I also have a blue one. That's how much I love them. It's essentially the same shirt, just different colors. I do have a Pendleton Cruiser. Uh, this is a four pocket with a game pocket in the back. Uh, traditionally used for hunting, where this snaps off. And you can stick your hand all the way through the coat, through the back, because it's meant for putting maps or gloves or, you know, if you're out hunting uh, grouse or something like that, you can throw them in the, throw them back there as you're, when you get done hunting for the day. So that's that. And this is, this is a Pendleton. It's 100% uh, wool from Pendleton Woolen Mills. Again, not a paid endorsement. That's just who the maker is. And I absolutely love this thing. It's warmer than you wouldn't believe. Uh, you wear a, uh, even a light under layer on this, with this on, is enough. I'll put this on, wear it around the campfire, with essentially a t-shirt under it, uh, in the fall. And, uh, uh, don't get cold, period. I don't know what to tell you. So, that's that. I also have another 100% wool uh, piece, which is essentially the same... It's a cruiser, just like I showed you, with the pocket in the back. But this is a Filson Mackinac wool, 100% wool. It's got four pockets. And it's got hand pockets down here, so you can stick your hands in. Uh, you put your hands in here, they're warm. It's amazing. Wind's blowing, snow's blowing. Uh, all buttons, no zippers. No zippers that get jammed up. So all you need to do is <coughs> excuse me, replace the buttons if one comes off. I do have one that looks like it's probably going to need some re-sewing. So that's my next project is sewing buttons. Because I'm going to do it myself. And I'm not a sew guy. So. But this is fantastic. And the other one I wanted to show you is another Bemidji Woolen Mills in Bemidji, Minnesota article. Again, not a paid endorsement. I just love their products. This is a 
up there with the uh, Mackinac Cruiser style. This also has a hunting pocket in the back. See the button? That button's off. You can stick your hand all the way through the back. Use that. This is lined. This is the heavy duty. This sucker is heavy. This coat is really, really, it's heavier than most coats you'll find because of the insulation, but also it's wool on the outside. It's all wool. It's thick. It's thick as can be. And I, the reason, one of the reasons I love this coat is that collar. I put that collar up. It goes right around my, my neck and ears. Keeps the wind right off. You double that on with the wool hat. Bring on the polar vortex. What have you. Don't care. This coat is essentially all you need. And that's, that's pretty much it. I do have a couple of uh, other uh, Pendleton uh, wool coats. 100% wool um, coat jacket coat jackets that I wear, that I have, and uh, I switch it up, they're different patterns and things like that, so, but the wool wicks the moisture off, keeps the heat in, even if it gets wet, it's going to stay warm, um, there's just, there's no other material that does what wool does, and this, I'm talking sheep's wool, this isn't buffalo wool, or yak wool, or uh, alpaca, things like that, this is sheep's wool, and it's, it's, it's quite amazing, so, I recommend it. And I'm trying to get you to start thinking about what you're doing as far as spending your money. Um, another reason I went to wool is because all the flannel shirts out there that you get at the stores, if you shop in stores, um, the flannel shirts, the cotton, cotton is not good for the winter. It's not good. It's not warm. The, uh, the cotton shrinks and fades over time. You got to rebuy and rebuy almost every year, every couple of years. This will last the rest of my life, guaranteed. No question. Invest in it and be done with it. Stay warm. Go wool. All right. That's all I got to say. Thanks for subscribing, everybody out there. Thanks for liking. Any questions on where you can buy wool, let me know.